as promised, I told you we get to the package JSON file. Now, there's a lot to know about a package JSON file, so I want you to know where to get help. Again, it's npm help. So you type npm help package JSON, and you get this great document on all the things you need to know about package JSON. It literally says, this document is all you need to know about what's required in your package JSON file. Now, to read through all of this would be incredibly tedious. It's a pretty long document. But when you need it, it will be there. I'm going to cheat and teach you the npm init command. npm init is a way of generating package JSON files, and it'll ask you a bunch of questions. So we'll type npm init. And this is short, so let's just read through this. Um, this utility will walk you through creating a package JSON file. It only covers the most common items and tries to guess sensible defaults. See npm help JSON for definitive documentation on these fields and exactly what they do. Use npm install package afterwards to install a package and save it as a dependency in the package JSON file. Hit control C at any time to quit. So if you don't like your answers uh, or you feel like you messed up, you can just hit control C and get out of it. So let's start. Uh, package name, essential npm is the suggestion. Uh, that sounds great. It's asking if we want to start with version 1.0.0. Sure, that's fine. Description, uh, essential react examples. The entry file is just going to be our main JavaScript file. So index.js is fine for now. Uh, we can change this later. We don't have any tests, so we can just hit enter on this one to skip it. We don't have a Git repository. If this was already a Git repository, um, it might be able to pull that information in. Keywords are just ways for someone to find this in search results. We don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, the author is me, Michael Chan. And the license. If you have a preference on license, you could use that. Maybe it's MIT or something like that, um, or you could just take the default. Awesome. So it's about to write our package JSON file. Uh, that's great. And it's giving us a look at what it looks like. Um, all our information is correct. So we'll just hit enter again and see what we got. I like to use the cat command if I want to just output a file. Uh, from here, you could edit it further if you wanted. But I think we're good. So now that we have our package JSON file, let's try installing a package. Since this site mostly focuses on React, I'll install React. npm install React. We got a warning that there was no uh, repository field. That's correct. We did not add that. Again, it's just a warning, no problem. Uh, React was added as well as the 17 packages it um, depends on. You'll note it also removed the eight packages that uh, I guess we just didn't need anymore. So that's cool. Let's see what our uh, dependency graph looks like now with npm ls. Our only direct dependency is React, and then there's uh, a bunch of things that it depends on. Cool. Now that we have a package JSON file, uh, let's see if it was updated. Awesome. With our package JSON file in place, uh, it added this React as a dependency. In the next lesson, we'll talk about why that is important and super awesome.